Here's another tech tip from Automotive Video. As you may know, spark plug removal can be very difficult on certain Ford model trucks and cars from model years 2004 through 2008 containing 4.6, 5.4, and 6.8 liter three-valve engines. Ford has issued TSB number 08-7-6 regarding this issue. Our tech tip follows the general procedure of the TSB while adding real-world knowledge gained from our staff of ASE certified technicians. It is recommended for you to review the TSB and compare it with our methods. We'll show you this procedure with the heads removed from the vehicle for clarity purposes. First, to begin the spark plug removal procedure, the engine must be at room temperature, not hot or even warm from recent use. Therefore, our technicians recommend a complete cold soak overnight before beginning. Although this may be an inconvenience to the customer, it's certainly better than having broken spark plugs. With a cool engine, you begin by removing the coil on plug assemblies, then blow out the spark plug wells with compressed air, which we have already performed for purposes of time. Next, back out the spark plugs no more than an eighth to a quarter of a turn. It is critical not to back them out more than this amount. Use carburetor cleaner, or as shown, ZEP45, and fill the spark plug well to the top of the spark plug. AVI techs recommend a minimum of 12 hours soak time. The longer, the better. After soaking, slightly tighten then slightly loosen the spark plugs using only hand tools, not power tools. Work each plug back and forth several times. You may notice some screeching sounds during this, but slowly continue until the effort is reduced. Patience is key and that is why the long soak period is recommended to make it easier. When inserting the new plugs, make sure to use a high quality, high temperature nickel anti-seize lubricant on the ground electrode shield. There are several ways that, try as you might, a spark plug can break. The following is the procedure to remove the spark plug porcelain and tip if it does break. For the removal, we will be using the spark plug removal tool set part number 65600 from Lau Corporation. The Lyle Spark Plug Removal Tool Set includes the following. A pusher assembly consisting of a pusher body, pusher screw, and tip. A puller assembly consisting of a puller housing and a puller screw. Also included are a left hand hex nut and several spacer gaskets. To start the procedure, first use a heat gun or hair dryer to heat up the broken plug. Then, screw the pusher body to the bottom of the spark plug threads with the pusher screw back completely out. Now, insert the tip. Next, screw the pusher screw down until it bottoms out against the top of the pusher body. This pushes the porcelain to the end of the spark plug tip, which gives you enough room for the tip of the puller screw to work. You don't need to guess how far to run the pusher screw down because the porcelain cannot be pushed through the spark plug tip since it's retained by the taper of the tip and the design of the tool controls the overall length the porcelain can be pushed. Next. Remove the pusher assembly using a large hex nut on the pusher body. Before the next step, blow out the spark plug well with compressed air. Now, place the puller housing into the hole, after which slide in the puller screw. Because it is a left hand thread, start turning the puller screw counterclockwise until tight. Make sure to engage as many threads as possible, and it will turn hard. It is important to note that if there is not enough threads on the puller screw when it is engaged, the tip can break off and remain in the spark plug tip. This process should leave no shavings in the motor. Inspect the cylinder for any broken porcelain before installing a new spark plug. So there you have it. A great tech tip from Automotive Video on how to deal with those troublesome spark plugs on certain Ford engines. Thanks for watching.